In this case, we are placing a dental implant on tooth number 3 site. At the patient's previous visitus, we have done sinus augmentation in the air and have placed implants on teeth 4, 5 and 6. Final plan will be to make implant crowns on teeth 6 and 7 and an implant supported bridge from 3 to 5. Due to patient's health issues, we have waited over a year of healing. Very good bone regeneration in the sinus was observed, however, there is still deficient keratinized tissue due to long-standing missing teeth in the area. To create more attached keratinized tissue on the buckle, we will use the rolled flap technique. With this technique, we will displace the keratinized tissue to the buckle and maintain its position. Keep watching the video to see how it is done. A CBCT-based surgical guide is being used here to achieve precise placement of the implant. We also use the guide to mark the exact position of the implant on the tissue using a tissue punch. This will provide us with an outline for the flap. thickness flap is raised to expose the bony crest. Implant osteotomy is prepared with sequential drills. Raising a small flap allows the irrigant to enter the osteotomy and prevents overheating of the bone. TLM tissue level implant is being placed here. The tissue level contours and no abutment design will provide excellent soft tissue contour and bone health.
achieved high primary stability on this implant and decided to place a healing abutment on it. This will allow us to avoid second stage implant exposure surgery. The tissue thickness is measured and an appropriate healing abutment is placed. Now with a fine 6-0 suture, we are going to roll the buckle flap on itself and suture it into position. Notice the two initial and the two final suture bites on the flap. Now the edges are sutured with interrupted sutures.
This technique allows to hold the keratinized tissue on the buckle and prevent it from creeping over the healing abutment. In cases where the goal is to increase thickness or fill buccal concavities, a larger deepithelialized rolled flap can be rotated inside the tissue. Now we will allow 3 months for the implant to integrate before taking scans for the final restorations. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel to see similar videos.